Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video we will continue working on our Sea Line SC35 project boat. In the previous video we cut and laminated the new floor for the forward cabin. So in this video we will continue working on the floor by cutting and laminating the rest of the galley and saloon floor ready to be bonded into place. So let's get straight into it. All right guys, so this morning we've just come down and test fitted the piece that we'd already laminated on the last video. So this has now been laminated on the edges here and underneath as well. So that's all nice and watertight. And then what we're gonna do is cut another piece to go here. Now, in fact, what we've just done is just flip that over onto this side. And we found actually it's pretty close. We thought it'd be miles out, but it's actually pretty close. We're just gonna make a few, few little tweaks, which Richard's made a draw in, so we can make those tweaks and we can get this side cut and laminated. All right guys, quick update. So we just cut this using the other piece over there as a template, and then we've added some extra pieces. So there's an extra piece of floor here where it runs over towards the aft cabin. And then we've just made the adjustments where we took some measurements and then Richard just made a note and we've added these bits on. So we've just cut it slightly differently or removed that piece and added a bit here. And same over here. So we'll just give this a, a quick nib off and, uh, and then we'll go and see if it fits in the boat. So, a little bit of trimming, and we managed to get this side in as well. So we just had to trim it on this corner here, uh, and that's slotted in really nicely. So really happy with that. So the next thing we need to do now is we're gonna just cut this back piece as well. So we've just taken some measurements. So we'll go and get that cut. And then once those are both cut, we'll then be able to get onto laminating the underside of them. So we have a complete floor. So we've put the front piece in here, which obviously we'd already made before and laminated. And obviously this piece was already done and laminated. So we've added the back piece here now. 
So that's all nice and shaped to the hole there. So again, left, left a nice gap here around the back. I probably just need to trim that back corner actually. That corner's been left, so we'll just jigsaw that little radius off there. But other than that, fits really nice. And same over here. So that's gone in really nice as well, nice and snug. Again, nice gaps around the hole, so really happy with that. And then we've also left um, a notch out here so that we can bring the heating pipe through. So that'll come through there. We'll probably, we'll just put the router on that edge there just to give us a nice soft edge. And then the heating pipe can come back from the diesel heater in the engine room and we'll have, have a, an outlet in the sofa probably around here. So really happy with this. So next job now is to laminate uh, the bottom of this piece and the bottom of this piece and then we'll be able to think about getting these bonded into place. So let's get these laminated up next. So this, these are the last two pieces that we've just laminated. So this has turned out really nice and this should protect these from the elements. Now we will give them a coat of flow coat. So this is the underside. So when these are flipped over, we will then go in afterwards. And um, so it's basically through these hatches and we'll give them a good flow coat as well. But we need to do that afterwards once they've been bonded in place because nothing really sticks to flow coat much. So we'll do that as the last job. So we've got two pieces here. So we're just going to leave these to set up and then these should be good for the next time we come in. This did turn out a little bit rough on here. We noticed actually that the roller that we were using, there were proper polyester rollers, 
and we perhaps didn't defluff them or they were just really full of fluff but that sort of kicked up here so we will need to just come in and just sand this but that's fine it's on the underside and once it's sanded that'll, be, that'll go completely we realized on this section and then by the time we got over here we were using a different type of roller we used a foam roller and that seems to be a far better finish Okay guys, back on the boat this morning, and today we are going to be mostly sanding fiberglass, which will be nice. So we've got fiberglass on here has got to be removed, so we need to sand that, and also on this side. And then we also need to sand the hull where the new floor meets the hull, that's so we get a, a nice mechanical bond when we glass over and tab up onto the hull, so we're going to have to do that all the way along here and also all the way along there. And then we just generally need to sort of clean inside these bilges. Um, they're pretty, pretty rubbish, pretty dirty. Um, so we need to get these all cleaned up and sanded as well so that we can come in and flow coat these. So that will make these nice and tidy and, and also water resistant. So we need to do that. And then what we've done is we've set up, because we're working with fiberglass, we've got some nice heavy duty extractors dust extractors which will go on the uh, sander so we've got a belt sander and a rotary sander so we'll hook that up to those extractors and then we've also got a fairly heavy duty extractor here which is basically pulling air out so that'll pull any dust that we create today that'll pull that all out up and out the boat and of course we'll have our respirators on as well because we're working with fiberglass so we just need to be really careful we don't get any of that nasty stuff in our lungs so Let's make a start. Okay guys, quick update. So this has all been sanded. Uh, we used a new Makita belt sander that Richard had bought and that made really light work of that. We tried hitting it with the orbital sander uh, and it would have done it, but it took quite a while. So broke out the, the uh, belt sander and that made really light work of that. This was covered in resin, so it was quite hard going as well. So anyway, so that looks all really good now. So I think the plan is, and we've also uh, abraded the hull as well. So sanded all of that. And we've also done the same down here. So that's all ready for tabbing and all across the front in, in here as well. So what we're gonna do now is come in with some acetone and we'll just wipe all these rails. And I think the plan is, is to epoxy um, the first part of the floor down. So we'll wet it out first, coat it so that it's nice and water resistant. And then we'll come in with some, a bead of thickened epoxy and just push that down. And that should go off fairly quickly for 25, 30 minutes, I think for West Systems epoxy. Once that's in place, then we're gonna come in and do the sides as well. So let's see how far we get.
So that's the floor in place and done. Really happy with that. So we applied epoxy resin on the top of all of these rails, make that nice and water resistant. And then we came in with some thickened epoxy and again applied that to the top of all the rails and put the flooring in place. And I don't know really the camera picks it up, but we put some small screws in place as well, can sunk screws just to hold that in place uh, and also to pull the flooring down onto the epoxy. We may pull those screws out afterwards, we're not sure yet, but uh, certainly okay for now. And uh, if I go onto the floor, it's nice and solid, bounce up and down and it's no squeaks. So yeah, it's really, really nice and strong, really happy with that. So the next job will be to come in and tab the floor to the hole where we've sanded it here. Um, so that'll be the next job. And also at some point we're gonna have to come in and flow coat all of these. We've got tanks to fit. So we've got a, I think it's a sump there, shower sump there, a black tank and gray tank, but we will flow coat all of these in white, to finish those off nicely. So that's a wrap for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. See you on the next one.